In this video, I'd like to draw out two kinds of presynaptic um, activity, what we call axo-axonic uh, activity, which these are actions that affect a neuron before the synapse. Now, we're going to have to draw, since they are axo-axonic, it means the process is coming off of the axon of one cell goes to the axon of another cell. So I'm going to come off of here, and here is an axon with a terminal bud of one cell, of one neuron, and here's another neuron, and his little terminal buds, as they would go off to do something else, and say he has an effector cell here. This may be a muscle, what have you. Now, as an action potential, we know when action potentials arise, they do come down and result in relief. They open calcium channels. Calcium rushes in, Ca2+. Now, if you can somehow inhibit uh, this from happening in this neuron here, if we want to keep from opening these calcium channels here, now we can do that um, by using what we call presynaptic inhibition. This cell that has just made an action potential, this action potential rises, if it releases GABA, gamma aminobutyric acid, it will release a chemical GABA blocks these calcium gates. If these calcium gates are blocked, when the action potential arises to this cell, there is no release of neurotransmitters. Thus, this cell does not get stimulated. So this is um, inhibiting it at the presynaptic cell. So we have two axons coming in. Axo axonic GABA, we know, inhibits the opening of voltage-gated calcium channels. So it doesn't matter. You can fire in this all day long an action potential to that presynaptic neuron, but it's never going to have an effect or reduced effect if we block the calcium channels, because if we block calcium channels, you get no release of neurotransmitter from this cell. So that is, in a sense, the quick and dirty view of that one. But let's just look at presynaptic facilitation. So let's clear the drawing, and let's go back and look at them again. And here is our, one of our cells, and here's our other cell. And we got him, and he's wanting to handle this guy over here. Now, when he forms an action potential, he can release chemicals like serotonin. And serotonin will get released and bound and open more calcium channels, releases more neurotransmitters, and stimulates the cell even more. So this is presynaptic facilitation. Now this is a very quick and dirty sketch explaining how this works. But this is two ways in which axo-axonic synapses and communications can happen when this presynaptic cell, um, we are regulating the synapse before it ever uh, gets to the effector cell, this muscle, the effector. So that concludes my little quick and dirty video on presynaptic activity. Thank you.